everyone, and welcome to another night of 13 Nights of Halloween. I'm Wokey, and I'm here with a new guest. Is it Minato Flash or Minato Flash? How do you pronounce it? How do you see the pronunciation of your own name? As someone who I said, would say <laughs> Minato's Flash, because that, that's how they, that's how it's supposed to be pronounced, Minato's Flash, but I get uh, Minato's Flash, right? Some people could say it that way, because the dub does, doesn't really matter at the end of the day, but I would say in my head, Minato's Flash. There we go, and he's going to be joining us for some Alan Wake 2. Have you ever played the original Alan Wake? Uh, I'm like... I might be too young for that. I don't know. <laughs> Did you ever play the video game Control? Dude, no. Okay. <laughs> so I'm just like completely new to this. Alan... I'm hopping in because I'm here for horror. Yes. So, Alan Way, this is done by Remedy Studios, who best is known for, now it's known for making Alan Wake 2, but it was best known for making uh, Max Payne back in the day. Mm -hmm. The main head CEO is the dude who makes the Max Payne face. Um,. And they made this new. They made Alan Wake, which was in it itself was inspired by Twin Peaks, and then it didn't do amazing. It was like a pretty good 360 game for the time, but it was overhyped, so people didn't like super get into it. And then they made a video game called Control, which if you've ever done, um, seen SCP, as I believe what they're called, you know the the special thing. Um, that series yeah. is, it's also like a horror game, but it's set like in this crazy house where there's like multiple like haunted objects and stuff like that. And there's like, it's like a government file of like looking at all these screwed up shit. And thanks to That's that game, cool. which shares in the same universe as Alan Wake, Alan Wake was actually in control in for the DLC and they found a way to bring the game back after this many years. And then they made Ooh. Alan Wake 2 and this was the game that everyone got really angry at. Because it did super well at the Game Awards and no one had played it because it was on the Epic Game Store. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh. But it is, from all I understand, an amazing game. So, hey, you know what? I'm going to hit the load for it. I've seen some stuff about the, uh, you know, the game, just like, I, I control. For some reason, I was could only think of Concord. I don't know why, because it was a recent <laughs> thing. I just control, right? But I just kept thinking of Concord. <laughs> I'm like, oh, wait, it's not that. No, but no, no. I, I've, I think I've seen some stuff about it, and I, I looked it up right now on the side on my other trusty monitor, and it looks similar. I think the aesthetic of it looks cool as well, so yeah, I, I don't know. I, I was a big fan of Control. I really like Control, and back in the day, I really liked Alan Wake. Um, even though with its specific, um, and back in the day, it was actually sponsored by Duracell batteries to make oh, the funding of the game because it cost them so much to make. So when you picked up batteries in the game, it was Duracell batteries. And now I believe <laughs> if you buy that game on PC, they had to edit out the Duracell batteries because they're no longer sponsored by Duracell batteries. I'm um, going to be a mega weep here. That just reminds me of how Code Geass has like the Pizza Hut. <laughs> it's it's very similar to that. Basically it is like that. Yeah, no, I I, I double checked and Alan Wake came out when in two uh, says 2010 mm -hmm. when I was so I was I was like eight nine years old at that point. Oh, you should not. And at that point, bro, I was playing just like. Oh, sorry. Say it again. Just like what? Uh, or uh, one of those uh, I think it was Ultimate Spider-Man on the PS2 as well that's kind of like some of the games I grew up with okay this is looking pretty good actually yeah this looks realistic because this is uh, real life <laughs> this is this is um this is also something Remedy really likes to do is that they like to use real footage of stuff uh FMV cutscenes we do like to see that okay he's just blue now <laughs> yes there, there is a I'm excited to see it because I haven't actually played Alan Wake 2. I've been waiting for around the scene. But yeah, the, the best way to explain Alan Wake just real quick, he's basically a horror writer and his typewriter, whatever he writes down, it basically it becomes reality. Oh, that's yeah. actually really cool. Yes. So when you play the first Alan Wake, as you like discover this, a lot of the stuff he writes down in his notes ends up happening in real life as you're doing it. So this is why he's specifically talking about this like this stuff because the, the way that the game ends for him to actually beat it, he got kind of locked away from somewhere. Mm -hmm. So I'm interested to see where this goes. And monsters wear many okay. faces. Bro, don't show me a dead deer. That's not cool. <laughs> Whoa, it just is a lake. Rose, it's like a, a dead corpse of a deer floating. Okay, <laughs> that tells you to know that no one is safe, not even a deer. Not even just a random deer bystander. Oh wait, that, is that like 
Okay, that was. Oh, oh that was okay. Just long, yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is scary, all right. <laughs> yeah, this is terrifying because now I need to really be careful Dude. about YouTube when I say like, "Hey, trust me." This I... is like someone's school. <laughs> this is like someone's school principal. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't have that body type. <laughs> He's just a middle school principal. Oh, please let me control this guy. <laughs> oh, you can. I 100% can. Can I see the? Can I see the front? Do you want to look the at a The game junk? does not. No, I'm just saying, do I have the option? <laughs> Can I look at his junk? <laughs> exactly. As video game players, we have to constantly ask ourselves Can I see a person's junk at any given time? Exactly. Yeah, you can see the belly, for sure, if I'm quick enough. Oh, yeah. You could use his belly, just like flopping up and down. <laughs> Help, Help me. What's wrong? What's wrong with him? He needs clothes. <laughs> Please help me for the love of God. I don't know what's going on. Are they gone? Oh damn, I, oh, I am gone. Bro, they just left them. They're like, yeah, we're not touching that. <laughs> no, we're we're good. We're gonna call it in. Uh, wow. Over. We didn't find anyone. <laughs> there was nothing. Uh... <laughs> like, uh, we found a uh, weird trespasser without any clothing. Walked out of the lake. <laughs> we're gonna get out of here. <laughs> uh, over. Does remind me of a scenario that I would find in the X Files, which I've been watching uh, through the month because I w I was in the mood for some X Files. Let's get into the spook. Oh, <laughs> he's yeah. gonna get just like. <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Okay. By the way, my 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 computer monitor is right across my fucking face. That terrified the shit out of me. <laughs> No, it that, just popped up for me, and I was like, oh. <laughs> not enough for me. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> I was completely... <laughs> so this is why I'm like... Ooh, I can... I can spread. Oh, Thank dude, you for telling me. he's listening. Is it raining, or is it because he was in the lake? Probably because he was in the lake. Yeah, um, I remember awesome. Control having a really freaky atmosphere, because when you would be doing nothing, you'd be hearing people chanting in your ear. That's creepy. Oh. Okay. Oh. I can't see. All right. Okay, I, there must be the the monster dudes from. So in Ooh. Alan Wake One, there was like mm -hmm. these monster dudes that you could only you couldn't hurt them. You had to hurt them by exposing them to flashlights. Oh, your seeds are kind of like vampires ish, you know? Yeah, kind of. But like, you, but they oh, were vampire. like they were like human shape, but you couldn't like perceive them until you got them into oh. the light. Basically, you were safe so in the like, light. It was like a distortion. Yes. Ooh. Oh. Hey. Oh, well, they're, 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 they're good people, right? Oh, okay, they're not good people. Oh. oh. Did I die? <laughs> Was I supposed uh, I to think, die? Yeah, uh, I got an achievement season. for it. Oh. Thanks, Epic Game Store. Oh. Well. My guy is not. I, I do not think he's having a good time. No, this is uh what we call party foul. This is a bad ending, I'm thinking. <laughs> oh, was I not supposed to have let this happen? Uh oh. Oh, the guy also has a deer mask. Ooh. Pretty gruesome. Yeah, the, you know what? Alan Wake One did not start this intense. <laughs> um, that's that's so... just like literal heart he pulled out. Wow. Oh. That's right, motherfucker, is what he's saying. I think so. Oh, you can totally see some bean right there. I might oh, have yeah, to censor can... that. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, I don't think it's just mine. I think you should. <laughs> for, the, for the good of YouTube, I should put up a whooper yeah. right there. <laughs> it's a big bar. <laughs> <laughs> but put a bar over his whole body and then just censor out the specific bean. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Just everything but the bean, actually. Yeah. <laughs> like, how could you tell what that is? Wait. If you cover everything else, you won't know. Two. It's a hell of an intro. This is way faster than that. Dude, why'd you pause the movie? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my bad. It should be starting right now. I'm First sure. game saving. Okay. Starring. Uh, they, it literally is like a movie. It's telling me who's starring in this. 
Yeah, Sam Lake, he's the the head of Remedy and also who uh, was the face for Max Payne. First one, Max Payne 1. I just realized that you probably would not probably know what Max Payne... Your Max Payne would have been Max Payne 3. <laughs> now that I think about it, when you tell me the time frame of how old yeah, you were I, for this game. I'm just like, yeah. <laughs> it's just like, I know what that is, right? <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> You make me feel like when I talk to Zen about wrestling, and he's like, yeah, don't worry, and I'll make sure Wokey doesn't talk about, uh, you can talk all about old wrestling stuff, because I'm like, oh yeah, Bob Backlund was champion during these specific years. Yeah, that guy. Bobo Brazil. <laughs> when we talk about all these old great stuff. Let's talk about things that I know you weren't around for. Oh, he actually did. <laughs> There's Sam Lake right there. He's the dude on the, on the, on the left. Logan thinks you should try oh. cheering up. Yeah, it looks it, like he's mogging us, dude. Yeah, that's how he just looks like. <laughs> he's just permanently mogging. Yeah, that's it's good. crazy. You should you should look him up right now. He he just looks like this. <laughs> and then look up Max Payne PS One, and then look at that he, guy's face. He's like, he's like, you know how people have like a resting bitch face, is like mm -hmm. that, but for him, but it's mogging. <laughs> yes, <laughs> resting mog face is what it is. Okay, I love this one's face. Random guy getting assaulted. This does remind me a lot of X Files. Two dudes driving into the woods to go okay. experiment. To go do a not to experiment. To go look up Anyone some crazy advice? stuff. Well, surely they won't run into trouble. Cheer anyone up. Oh yeah, nothing will. I'm sure everything will go perfectly fine. It's a basic I like, case. I do like the scenery though. It looks pretty. Here we are. Yeah, I was talking to D Free about this, but do you have the feeling of wanting to just go into a forest? I mean, I get it. I would probably go with a group of people, personally. Because mm. it's not even like I'd be, like, scared of anything. It'd be more of, like, I would get lost. Because I, I am bad at, like, <laughs> keeping track of where There's I am sometimes. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I can understand that. In a force sort of situation, yeah. Oh, okay. Whoa. Oh, okay. Invitation. I, 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 uh... I guess we're another invited. <laughs> another sick. Uh, oh, thank God! It actually can. Okay. Dude, imagine like getting like an invitation to like a party or wedding ceremony, and then you open the invitation, and then just like a noise plays like. <laughs> <laughs> this like noise that. is reminding me of the new Discord sound. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, <laughs> like, I think what you mean. Did they did, didn't they change the Discord call ring right now to make it more like spooky as well? I as think. Far as I was I saw something like that on Twitter, but like it's also Twitter. People. Yeah, you know, people. people... <laughs> yeah, people be lying to get their seven cents from Elon. So <laughs> not sure how much you can actually trust what they say. Guys, I like this, and there's a special animation, and then it's nothing. But then it has like 300k likes. <laughs> yeah, 300k likes, and then the bot underneath it goes, "Wow." The other one says, I can't believe they do that. And, and then and then you scroll down and you see an actual person that said that same thing. Yeah, but then the bot took what they said. <laughs> but said it louder. Have you seen that recently, right? Where these bots are like taking the comments of other actual people yeah. and then posting it, but they have a blue check, so they actually are higher up and they end up getting more likes. It's yeah, crazy. It's super that's why I think there's not that many people that comment anymore. Dude, it's dead internet theories, low key. Like, like yeah. genuinely. Hey, I didn't <laughs> be believe it until, <laughs> till recently. That's the true horror in all this. Yeah, dude. Dude, what if are you? Am I, am I real? <laughs> I'm, I'm not real. That's such a mean old way of saying someone stupid, saying you're not the sharpest axe in the, in the shed. In the shed, what yeah. Tell us about the crime scene. Yeah, dude. It's just like. Very kind of dull, <laughs> which is what it's just it's just a roundabout way of saying you're dull. Yeah, <laughs> he you're, said. you're real dull. And then if you are that not sharpest axe, you just go, "Hey, man!" But you say it like three days later. <laughs> you go, "I just realized they were insulting me." Yeah, no, I'm, that's like it's like the opposite. Of like when you get in an argument and then you're pieces? doing something else later and you yeah. think you get the perfect comeback. Mm -hmm. It's like that, but the opposite, and you realize, oh wait, I was actually really burnt. Right there. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and I was like, oh thanks, and you're like, wait a minute, <laughs> they they weren't being nice. No, they weren't. Damn. I have that ability to a, a large degree. All right, let's go look at that body. How do we get there? Oh, sure. That's Look at the peen. 
Yes. Through the hole in the fence, down the hill take the <laughs> take uh, evidence from it or something. Everything's that's what that's what these guys do, right? The FBI. <laughs> I've seen X Files. Scully, I need you to do it. Like, is his job just to stand there and like guard the fence that's like open? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's all his job. I had to meet me here and tell me what to do next. Thank you, sir. Thank you, exposition man. <laughs> I mean, it's the uh, if there was anything, if it's anything like the Fox Files, I assume it's exactly to make sure that no random ass kid shows up to be like, oh, I heard there was a dead body. Let's go completely change our entire lives and go check it out. Yeah, basically. <laughs> Whoa, what the hell? This what? reminds me a lot of the Mind Palace. The Mind Palace. Oh, okay. Well, guess, this you know. is so much like Deadly Premonition. Sure, just a house down. Yeah, but uh, to be fair, I find because Deadly Premonition also takes this a lot from Twin Peaks, so I assume that they do the same thing, which I have never seen Twin Peaks, but I played a lot of games that are inspired by Twin Peaks. Uh, so I think this is cool, though. This is cool. And case for mental they allow Sage to analyze clues and progress the investigation. Oop. Oh. Okay. All right. Slight difference in murder bloating. Oh. You're not afraid of professing. Okay. This game really likes to be loud. <laughs> it does. Slight differences in murder, blooding only commodities and bodies is not cause of death, chest trauma, exposure to water post mortem, bruising on the wrist, all bodies experience floating. All victims reported missing in twenty ten, no other commodities. C con commonality is my bad. <laughs> that is not the same thing. Commonalities, yeah. <laughs> Ted <laughs> Lane. Like Ted Lane. <laughs> okay. Large chest wound. Only this guy got his heart removed, though. That's messed up. Yeah. Killer profile. They do, but they like killing. Yeah, but, but they. But the the teacher has a large chest wound still, right? You said, like the. Let me see the teacher. Yeah. Large chest wounds, bruising of the wrist. Um, state does not wounds. match eight years spent in a lake. Yeah, the body bloated, large chest wound, but then when it was some organs were missing, predation, state of the body does not match eight years spent in a lake. Brother. Missing in 2010, discovered in 2021, buried in a shallow grave. Found two weeks ago, chest wound was ruled as a cause of death. Tattooing on the body is ineligible. Heart is missing. This is the dude that right there, so. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. All right. Well, except like for now. together a body. Visiting the Mind Palace does not pause the game, so be mindful. Oh, <laughs> that's good to know. Yeah. <laughs> Just like in real life, when you Let's enter your Mind into... Palace. You do not escape into your inner mind, because you will just hey, Casey, get owned. You put yep, me in charge. 100%. Why now? Look, Anderson, you're a better detective than I am. Damn, do dude's the fetus, man. You're a good detective. Don't worry don't about it. Slow you down. Are you thinking of retiring? Like, don't say that because that means you're gonna to die. Who say this is their last case? Mm -hmm. She literally yeah. said it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, never trust someone who's about to near peak. Can I just? So what please? shoes is she wearing? <laughs> the the, per the perfect for mountain climbing, apparently. <laughs> oh, yeah. Boing, boing, boing. <laughs> Dude, <I can laughs> the noise. This is like a. <laughs> okay. All right. Fucking nature. Fucking A. <laughs> He's right. <laughs> Sometimes. I think that's everywhere. I don't know about that. No, that's IGN <laughs> reviewing that's the third, new Pokemon man. game. <laughs> Too much guy. 7 out of 10. Lord just likes to sit in all day on a computer. Damn. Just like me. Exactly, so relatable. But how you like the rain, but you hate that there's too much sky? <laughs> to be fair, what is rain but the sky being blocked? Locked off with clouds, yeah, but... Was... Ooh. I don't know. That's kind of silly still. You're saying that he should be consistent with his feels, yeah. but you see, humans aren't consistent. Sure. Hey, dude. That's me, at your service, ready to get this case solved. He looks ready to get the case solved. He, he's either like in on it or he's gonna like get owned. <laughs> You're already guessing it. Arrest this man. He seems to know a lot about this case. This. You seem a little too excited to show me the body, sir. Yeah. Oh, okay. He's still under the idea that UFO cover up. See, we are the X Files. Wow. Yeah, 
Yeah, come on, guy. Let's get... Oh, there he is. Oh, they did not... I guess oh. you can't move a body, right? I mean, yeah, you shouldn't realistically. Yeah, that is... Seen. Found him on the table. Now, he didn't touch nothing, you know. Yeah, procedures yeah. and there we go. Give him some dignity. Thanks, deputy. No time. Oh, oh they didn't even take the heart. Okay. Oh, they just left Let's it there. Start by exactly yeah, but they found time. someone else walking Does around nearby. The too. Of the previous murders? Hmm. Okay. Body is yeah, why would they leave the, the heart table. here? Yeah, that's the most curious thing. I guess they didn't need the heart. You unlock your first key image, you can place it in the case board inside the wine pillows. Alright. I mean, like, was the heart of the other the murder left there? I think only one of them said that they were missing organs, but not specifically the heart. Placing Kimari begins a new line of investigation. Alright. If a key image is placed, it will prompt a new question. Objections are viewable in the case boards in your goals. What's my goal? Investigate the crime scene? I'm doing that right now. Oh, we we did it! First goal clear. <laughs> we solved the murder, everyone. <laughs> All right, y'all. Let's pack Step it up. Let's go to Chili's. Examine the corpse. <laughs> yeah, this is what. After seeing this corpse, that's what I want to do. I want to check check out some Chili's. The killer left the heart. Dude, I want. I'm mad. This, <laughs> this <laughs> dead, rotting body is making me hungry. Man. Inside Collect. stab wound, chest cut open, heart removed. Definitely. And then we can go inside here and then check out where we can put these. Right there. Yeah. Oh man, this I can find this is actually funny enough is a game where I can put like stuff like have you ever seen one of these boards in like a show or something? Like Charlie from It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia? Mm-hmm. Oh, can I put it here? Okay. Really just can be placed on top of a question. So if I put it here. There we go. Well, the wrist. Definitely matches the previous murders. Not many people Stop murder like this. So I assume if someone else did this before, this would definitely be their MO. Yeah, so they left the everything behind, but I wonder if it's because they found those other two people that were like walking around because Like someone like they stopped it before they could fully commit to the job. I guess so. And then mm, you know, just... that makes a lot of sense, actually. Who, is that Who killed him? Need to find more clues. Multiple people were here. Multiple killers. Yes, there were actually. Large amount of blood on the table. Oh, about that. oh wow! The I would never guess that. Go here. Beers. They age. slammed so down a Corona here. before killing him. They spent time here, waiting. Someone left in a hurry. Knocked over a tripod. Knocked the tripod over. So can you, I put these in here? A camera? Hold up. Okay. The killers has to be here. Because these were multiple sets of footprints. Footprints. Yes. Indicating multiple killers. This is for later. Okay. Party. Good to know. Good. Well, I collected the evidence early. <laughs> yeah. Oopsie. It's alright. Uh -oh. Let's see, let me see if I can find some more evidence around here. Any idea who the victim is? Old dude? Nightingale. He was Nightingale. He came to town about Wait a minute. 15 years ago. I haven't heard a word about him since. Huh. Until now. Like 13 years ago. Was that the Was that the release of um Alan Wake actually? Oh, did this game come out last year? Then yeah. It was, yeah, it was actually. Yeah, so oh. that was 13 years ago, because so 2023 Alex. back to 2010. Huh. State. That's interesting. Yeah, I ran into him a few times at Quantico. Never worked in the cases together. After his partner got killed in the field, he went off the deep end. Got the boot pretty quick after that. Hmm, what happened after so he got fired? After the Bureau let him go. I only know the rumors. Depression led to booze, booze led to paranoia. It's a slippery slope. That's why I don't drink. Yeah. Chased ghosts until he fell off the map. Guess he ended up here. Dan, I don't really like the taste of alcohol. <laughs> Honestly, it, it depends on what the alcohol is to me. Yeah, that's what my brother and sister tell me. It really heavily depends on all this stuff. 
But every time I try, I've never been able to find something. I think my friend one time gave me something, but it was because he heavily... The thing he gave me said, watch out because this is heavily disguised. So you won't be able to taste any of the alcohol. And it did taste really good, but also that means that there's a fuck ton of alcohol in it. <laughs> <laughs> uh no for me i'm like i'm not a fan of like beer but I, I like i can go for like i'm trying to think at the top of my head um i actually like vodka quite a bit to be honest and just a bunch of other things that like i i just can't think of it out of the top of my head mm -hmm. okay now we can use oh, these I would use those, okay. wait we're in bright falls that's the place where it takes place in the original Alan Wake. Oh, okay. So this has to be the killers. Keep trying. Maybe it's consistent with previous murder? No, the victim? Cooler found nearby. Wait. Killers, right? There we go. I didn't even realize that there was another oh. one. <laughs> yeah. They planned for the murder to happen here. Passing the time with equipment ready. They were waiting for him. Clearly, he knew too much. Why here? Why now? Victim came from. Whoa! Someone in my mind palace. Profiling. Oh no. Get into the subject's head. See what they saw. Feel what they felt. Use whatever I know about them to guide my intuition to a revelation. Piece it together. Okay. All right. This is exactly how. Okay. So Nightingale, which will murder. Is the victim? Why? Flip the switch. It goes click. Lights are off. It's somebody's home. Somebody's home. This wasn't some random act of violence. This was a ritual. A Nightingale, a component. They didn't see him as a person. More like a container for something. Was he holding something? Now I'm trying to think in my head what what <laughs> what's going actually on? Yeah. How did he end up here? Out from the lake that's not a lake. It's dark. It's a lighthouse. Oh my god! That that is the 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 it wasn't a lake, it's a lighthouse. That's the last line in Alan Wake, the first game. Oh wow. Yeah, that's where where he gets like basically trapped in. Huh. Okay. I'm honestly surprised that they are coming up with threads for a game that came out 13 years ago. <laughs> yeah, I mean, considering it's Alan Wake Two, I think that would make sense. It would, but when you think of like a lot of games that come back later, you don't really think of them as like doing this. I forgot to check to see what to actually do next. Maybe I can go back in the Mind Palace and check out yeah. the case board. Let me see goals. Investigate the crime scene profile of the victim. Maybe I wasn't done profiling. Uh, uh, no. You did what you could do. Questions. Mind Palace. Whoop. Oh, I can just go here. Oh. So I can go here. Nanny Gill came from Cauldron Rake. So I can continue here. I feel the Nanny Gill came from the lake, but when now? After 13, where, where has he been? Hmm. Check the lake shore now, so... Yeah, I can go check the lake. The shore. lake is connected to Nightingale somehow. All right. Casey, let's take a look down by the lake. Lead the way. Sounds good. Uh, this way, right? Right. Whoa. Well, okay. Well, I'll just uh. <laughs> he just ran right in front of you. <laughs> Whoa! Yeah, where do you go? Not. There he is. My job is to watch the body rot. <laughs> it's getting, <laughs> <laughs> uh, <this is> getting <laughs> slightly a little too spooky for me. So you know, I'm just gonna stay by the dead body. <laughs> Yeah. I know it's not going to come back because it doesn't. Like, you just heard the protagonist with their eyes closed just muttering for like five minutes and just like, uh. <laughs> that doesn't sound good to me. No, thank you. Nightingale was out in the woods alone at night, possibly nude. As you do. Yeah. Just having a jolly old time. Cut his heart out. But then they were interrupted by those witnesses, the bookers. Something here? There's a piece of paper on the ground. I didn't know trees got that big. Tracks. Barefoot. Nightingales? This looks like a manuscript. Makes no sense. Yeah. 
So these manuscripts are also from the first Alan Wake. This is the story that he was writing in it that changes reality, basically. Oh, I see. A page full of text on one side. Not a printout. Bring yeah, it's like, like an old school typewriter is what he wrote these on. Lines scratched out on edits added with a pen. Mm hmm like a manuscript. A page of a story. Mm. Killer left a message. It's for us. The text is about us. The victim was one of their own. FBI Special Agent Robert Nightingale. <laughs> and then there was the page they found. The first step down into terrifying depths. Reading, oh, reading words. words. These yeah. words felt like a message. That now it's Alan Wake's doing. Someone this is him writing the story. Someone playing a game with them. Oh. An invitation. How could they not accept? Even, even if they, they knew, knew it would end up hurting them. And I feel this man be like, oh. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, revelation found. Ding, ding, ding. Wow. Either he dropped this page, or the killers left it for us. Right in the mind palace. Uh, manuscript pages can be read inside the mind. Oh, can I actually just go here and always have access to it? Yes, I can. Victim oh, was oh. on. Yeah, okay. In the first game, you collected a lot of them too. That makes sense. Yes. What is asking me here? There we go. I can go here. The page. Found the page in the woods. A story about these events. What is Nightingale's role in this? There we go. Some of the textures taking a bit to pop in is also making sometimes the models look spookier. <laughs> like yeah. would you? Must take it out. Something was put inside him, in his chest. Oh. I must find out what. So they, take something, the they put something in it. In so that means that they would put something in where his heart was then? Go. Yeah. All right. Do I have to talk to my guy here? If you're stuck unsure how to proceed, you can check the mind palace. No, I know where to go. I have to go investigate. Oh, no, I have to figure out what happened. So I go here, and then if I go here, I can go here. Yep. Yeah. Footprints. That's what they wanted me to do. They wanted to make sure I, oh, I did this step. <laughs> proper yeah. steps first, of course. Yeah, proper steps with the <laughs> image with the fun. The yeah. <laughs> but his tracks make no sense. Hidden inside him, so we can go here. Might have to keep going, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Reading the words, these words feel weird. Found all I can here. Perfect. I properly examine the body. Okay. See what I can find inside. I'd be real angry if it turns out no one looked inside this body. As a cop. I mean, Casey, they kept. I think something's been put in. Oh, the you're right. Body. Like the body. <laughs> Let's the right. To the town morgue. Oh, okay, and they're gonna do it by the proper Whoever steps. Scully, <laughs> check the body. In. Check this body. <laughs> so the the best part of X Files is when Mulder asks Scully, "I need you to go do an examination on this body." He says it at least once every episode. What? That's so silly. Entertain some yeah. fantasy, projecting their desires. Are we characters or the audience? Characters. To their design. Definitely characters. All the above. You made it back. It's all about Good. control. <laughs> He's talking over <laughs> Hey everyone! Glad to see you back. I'm already hooked. I need the next chapter. I hope you didn't get stuck in any of those yep. big puddles. Yeah, I drowned in one of them. Just like I said. Let's get this body Deputy, back to town. I want the body taken back to town for a proper examination, ASAP. Well sure. But the coroner won't be back in town for another week after Deer Fest. Deer Fest? I'll do it is it like beer fest? Oh, that deer. No, remember that deer is dead at the beginning of the thing. Oh shit! You're right. There was. Interesting. Mm. Maybe you're right. Maybe this guy isn't on it. Yeah. Who knows, man? I don't know. Something suspicious about him. He does have like a haircut of someone who would betray you. 
Let's get the car. I don't know. Drive to Bright Falls. Something's gonna Talk happen to with them, for sure. <laughs> Just hold on to it and wait. Right? I could use a cup of coffee. <laughs> yeah. Let's try that shirt Dude, I love the coffee. Mentioned. Sounds good. Yeah. Oh, you should, uh, have you ever played, um, Deadly Premonition? Or seen anything Sorry. from it? Oh, no, you wouldn't have, because you would have been a teenager <laughs> when it came like out on the 360. So uh, in it, so so this coffee thing is also taken from um, uh, from the show that I was mentioning beforehand, that everyone is based off of, of, of uh, Twin Peaks, which also, funny enough, is one of Goresh's favorite shows, actually. Interesting. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I remember I him. Aware of that. Yeah, I remember he posted about it because every time I he doesn't do it like often, but when he does, it reminds me. Oh yeah, I should actually go through that and watch it because when. It was airing. I was actually a teen too, because it aired in the nineties. Um, uh, well, it aired in the nineties. I wasn't even born, man. Yeah, no, that's why I'm like, yeah, you you don't know about it. It's fine. <laughs> I I go through similar things uh, with my brother because he was not born in the nineties either. It was around the two thousands. I'm so sorry for being so youthful and awesome, you know. Yeah, your youth <laughs> makes me angry. How dare you not grow up with what I had? You weren't there for when Pogs were in style. Dude, that's like... <laughs> Reminds me of like the people who really, really love the old Dragon Ball Z dub. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that old the guy who was talking about when he uh, posted it back in, when, in the old days, like the Usenet days. <laughs> it was... And it's like... Oh, dude, it's like it's not even like... Here we are. So many things are changed in that story. Let's start story. back to town and meet the sheriff. Yeah, the it was... I mean, I guess that is an interesting perspective now that by the time you would have seen it, it would have been completely different from when I first experienced it with the idea. Yeah, just... Because the the craziest thing that I always try and like give people where they said like the thing that I remember most is specifically about that post was talking about the idea of their, them finally experiencing Super Saiyajin. Mm -hmm. The thing is, is that when I was a kid watching Dragon Ball, I already knew no, what... Super super saiyan was yeah exactly yeah. so i was like wait a minute how did i know that though because i was excited to see it similar to being like excited to see trunks for the first time but then mm -hmm. when i'm older now i'm like wait how the hell did i know that i just like knew that these characters that had not shown up yet <laughs> i mean you might have seen them just somewhere before uh like on trailers or like commercials for it right mm -hmm. i think that'd make a lot of sense if they're like promoting the show it's like dragon ball z next up and especially like with some of the openings right At yeah the, like preview like the cell saga opening then you could have seen like trunks and one of those right um would make a lot of sense to me if they did do something similar to that but i guess like rock the dragon played a lot of clips from the movies mm -hmm. right they did <laughs> so that was a thing um compared to like actually showing like i guess it's the cell saga kind of thing right um i don't know for a while the i feel i think it was for a while where they got to a certain point in the like the namek saga wasn't it and then they went all the way back to raditz wasn't it something like that if um, for for the turtles movie i'm no I'm trying, like uh, when they're airing dragon ball z right oh yes uh, yes yeah, oh, it's like they, they complete the Namek Saga and then they just went back to Raditz and it's like, oh, you know, I, I, something like that, I think. Was... They they did do that a lot just because it usually meant that they weren't, um, so they didn't have the new stuff yet ready. Before. That was something that was they, they different from back then is that so when they far. said, hey, new episodes, they meant that they finally we finished dubbing it. Please. Because yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there, it, was a, it was a crazy process back in the day. It wasn't like today where they they tell you ahead of time, like, hey, no, we're planning this, Watch this, and that. Moving fast. It's like, no, they, they don't do yeah. that. I wasn't sure exactly. About taking a case so far um, from home, but it is funny because I also remember, because uh, I watched some of the like actual, like the original Dragon Ball Z growing up and stuff like that, right? and Dragon Ball GT as well. Mm -hmm. But then eventually Kai started airing as well. And then it's a, a a lot of people don't may not know, right? Especially if you're is this guy walking around in a D yeah he is a, in a giant beer I assume is that a beer oh he's a deer fist yeah anyway. I don't know uh, it looks like a drink though it does look like a drink this looks like the thing that um KSI showed up for in WrestleMania <laughs> <laughs> or Ed Speed actually now that I think about it both of them showed up. <laughs> 
<laughs> now you have to go investigate that. <laughs> oh yeah, let me go into my mind palace and see what's going up here. Flash of flashlight in their face. Like, hmm, what is this? I'm one hundred percent doing that. They let me. Oh dear. Oh dear, diner. Oh, I don't care. Oh, these guys are hopped up on coffee. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's coffee. They're a coffee can. It's coffee. That, that's oh. All, that's also okay. a reference to Alan Wake. Wow. Because in the original Alan Wake, this is also something you collected. It was coffee. coffee it was coffee furnaces and um, uh, uh, Duracell batteries. <laughs> yeah, the Duracell batteries. I remember that. Yeah. yeah the Duracell <laughs> you did thing. tell me about that. Hello. Hey, is that fucking Iceman? The FBI. Welcome to Bright Falls. It's nice to have you here. It is. I got to go some coffee. Oh, it's Washington's finest. Thank you. Thank you, Sheriff. I don't remember the actor's name. I just know that he's Iceman in X Men. <laughs> he also was a main character in one of the older um, Remedy games, one of the ones that did not do well, that they really wanted to make a show around. They tried their best then. <laughs> yes, they did. Remedy was going through a couple of rough years under Microsoft. Um, <laughs> tell is all this time. <laughs> You can <laughs> yeah. the, this game company was having a little bit of problems with uh, with the Xbox side of things. You, you would say, wow. Take your time. We could have never guessed, man. No, no. Wait, you said you got them both coffee and you only gave coffee to one of them. Uh, it's because I'm too busy holding on to this flashlight. Yeah, you can't hold a flashlight and a coffee at the same time. It's like too much, you know? Exactly. Moose, I appreciate that they gave the moose its own little thing. That's awesome. Dude, that guy's all comfortable in here. He came in his jammies. Sir? <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's reacting to having a light placed on him. Sir, how's that soup? I'm Can looking to please... get the special. Can you please stop? I'm trying to enjoy my soup. <laughs> Excuse me. Are you the bookers? I'm Agent Saga Anderson. Are you the bookers? Oh. That's us? But yeah, that's the lady that was chased. Oh, well, and Just remember the, the thing I interrupted? Oh, you're right. It is. <laughs> she was wearing that exact same jacket or over jacket, whatever it's called. Again. Okay, all right. So, the, yeah, these are the people who must have witnessed it then. Yeah. Yeah, don't worry about it. Uh, can you tell me what you saw? So what did you see in the woods? I want to know. This naked dude came out of the lake. As you do. He was acting yep. crazy, shouting weird shit at us. He must have been on something. Unless skinny dipping at dawn is a thing around here. Then we heard shooting. We ran into these psychos in deer masks. They were killing yep. the naked guy with knives. Like some kind Deers. of satanic cult. Oh dear. And then we bolted and called oh the cops. Alright. Why do you think what it was a cult? Did you say it was a cult? The masks and knives aren't enough. Oh, you have to be a little bit more to be considered a cult. It's a... a cult oh. Yeah, that's, that's, See, that, thank you, sir. This is what I needed. <laughs> yeah. And we found a... Whoop. Oh. That's all. Bro, I, I know that you said something. What were you doing at Cauldron Lake last night? They're clearly hiding something. True crime. We're here from New York, doing some research on a famous oh, novelist, true. Alan Wake, who went missing Whoa. here. Whoa. Mm. Ooh. Alan Wake. This is actually true to nowadays. There are a lot of people who, like, um, do true crime stuff and try and solve <laughs> solve things, maybe, yeah. that they shouldn't. Because they run into yeah. shit like this. Call to the tree. What are the bookers telling me? I mean, that's why that tree is really large, then, right? Yeah, that would make sense. The cult is spruce tree bag, Annie. Finders keepers, Ed. My publisher will want this on the cover. They must have something. That yeah, for the publisher. That makes a whole lot of sense. And plus, these are the these are true crime fans, so you know that they would hold back evidence yeah. from the actual proper belief. This is maybe the most believable thing is that that's what they do. That's why a lot of people get angry at them. 
because it's like they'll find evidence and then not give it to the actual problem people <laughs> and they'll save it for their podcast exactly nothing to do with the murder they were telling the truth all right but now okay can do i have anything nope here nope nothing yet but here the previous murders oh, okay so let's see new case Just drag it on there can i drag it on here there we go I don't That's think not... so, not yet. I guess I have to wait a bit. Oh, uh... yeah, nothing. I have to wait for something well, to show. That up. might be some. Oh wait, because uh, I could be with like where the attackers are. Yes, that's a good idea. Let me see. Or the murder method right there. See, killer profile. Yeah. No, that might be with murder. Oh, method. right here. Oh, okay. Not a serial killer. Organized group working with purpose of ritualistic murders. Not a lone serial killer. The cult of the tree is behind these murders. This case just became much more complicated. Cold of the tree. So they know what these are, then. But it's my first cold case. Exciting. <laughs> it's not how I would react to it, but, you know, sometimes you do get excited when it's your first anything. <laughs> yeah. But so there's a folder for the cold. Oh, you're right. Wait, am I not collecting it right? Hold up. Right here. Cold of the tree. I need to know more about the cold of the tree if I'm going to shut them down. I think it's crazy that you just, like, if, if you can start a cult and as long as you're not, like, messing with anyone, <laughs> that they apparently, there's nothing that you could actually do. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Cult psychology? Psychology. Deer, yeah, connection to deer fest. See you. Maybe. See, Dude. yeah, we're we're already ahead of this. I think you found something. You found something Dude, I'm right? telling you that yeah, that officer, bro. Okay. Yeah, he might be involved. You're oh. right. How did you put that together? I'm a cop. You I put it in my mind palace. You know, I just use my fifth grade intelligence and put <laughs> one and two together. <laughs> I figured. I, found... I figured oh. when you went to make him shush that you had found something. <laughs> Oh, she you gave the stuff. Stay okay. around town for now in case we have any more questions. Like we didn't even dream of missing you. Oh, God. Saga! Saga Anderson. Oh. Does she know someone from here? I guess so. I thought we'd never see you back here after that. Oh. Awful, awful thing happened hmm. to your people. Okay, bro, you don't have to say all that. <laughs> How are you? Um, oh, wait. I'm sorry. Who are you? I don't know what you're talking about. Wait a minute, what? It's so me, they silly Rose. You know me. I don't think I do. Oh. And what horrible Does she thing confuse her for someone else, maybe? She drowned. Your daughter. <laughs> That's so weird. You don't remember. How do you know I have a daughter? Oh, damn it. Slightly off stream. You're yeah. <laughs> out traumatic memories. Happens on TV Happens all the time. Happens on TV all the time. No. You're mistaking me for someone else. If you say so. <laughs> okay. Casually drops saying, uh, you have a dead daughter, right? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I know you. You're the one where his daughter fucking drowned. Died? Yeah, <laughs> that's you, right? You should not be even even if it, it was probably not true. You should not approach someone like that. Yeah, <laughs> seems like an uncool sure. way. Oh, can I change the music? Damn it, the jukebox is out of order. What did it say? The jukebox is out of order. Oh, Don't touch. something else. Oh, did it? Did it? Oh yeah, the poor thing can only take so many of the same song being oh, played okay. over and over again. I'm as big a fan of coconut as the next person, but come on. <laughs> Okay, I thought I might have said something like interesting. Well, mm. I guess it's silly, but <laughs> it is a uh, world building here. The oh dear, world I wonder if I can. Yeah. Oh, why is this creepy? It does feel a little bit weird. Oh fuck! Oh, it's a deer. Hey there, Mister Deer. You remind me of a dream I had. All right, we're cool with the deers for time. Even though there's a cult, and they wear deer masks. Oh, dude, what if it's like, 
the whole town is in on it. And then Deerfest is used to attract people like, from outside of it. People from outside, and then they like attack these people. That would make a lot of sense. I need a tool to get this open. Damn it! I have a gun. I can shoot it, but it probably is not wise for me to do so. Yeah. <laughs> Wash your hands. Uh oh. What are you doing back there? Just like everyone starts screaming. <laughs> I can see them doing it. Oh, I can take take out my. Trusty flashlights. Yes, I'll need that for later. Okay, nothing to do here. Yeah. All right, let me see if I can profile something real quick. Cold yeah. triangle? Cold psychology, maybe. No, this is a cold necklace with a tree symbol. Yeah, we go. Truly can be used as a substitute to syndicate my membership, but this is subtle badge of pride. Oh, there's way more clues to be going for here. Alright. Oh, okay. Let's go talk to our coffee drinking buddy. See if he's got yeah. any more clues here. An ice man. Let's see, All let's set. see. My guys have Nightingale at the morgue if you're ready to go take a look. Let's go. There's Rod. So we can see Welcome the dead guy. Ooh. I got a lead. Yeah. Looks like we're dealing with a cult. The cult of the tree. A murder cult. Fuck. Have you heard of this? <laughs> <laughs> That's also my reaction to hearing of a murder cult. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See, he's uh, he's with you. You guys are on the same length. Well, it's not, not this guy, but it's the other guy. Yeah. You're almost there. Yeah, real important guest. Yep. I could not stop him from walking forward, so I figured I'd get out of his way. Deerfest, Deerfest, drunk people in. And they go in the woods, and the cult gets them. That would make sense, but this time it was a guy who was here for 13 years ago. Which well, is an yeah. FBI guy, so I have to assume that he had to have been here probably researching wow. Alan Wake. Trying to figure out where he now. went. Exactly. It was all very had weird. to be related to that. Rose is just like that, you know. Sometimes she'll just drop lore for you. And it might not be accurate. Unless she drops like premonitions. But you don't gotta worry about Usually it's like... Oh, you're gonna drop your plate next month. I'd like to take the <laughs> Always yeah. comes true, though. <laughs> so if you do have a daughter, I would say uh, you should call him. <laughs> Be okay Don't let with her go near water. Anything you need? Exactly. Just, uh, I'm I'm sure you appreciate job, the support, <laughs> Now hiring. Join the Night Falls crew. So we share a morgue with the funeral home next door. I'm gonna see. That's it. I guess you guys don't have that problem, though. Our only coroner rotates between a few other towns, and he's away this week, but you can handle this. There was also an X Files episode like this. Yes. Where they had to keep a body in a fridge because they didn't actually have, like, a morgue in their town. Mm. Okay. Well, I mean, whatever preserves the body, Something I guess. About morgues, yeah. They always cheer me up. I can't say I feel the same. He's joking. It's hard to tell because of his demeanor. All right, going in. Nope. <laughs> My bad. I thought that that was a... It's <laughs> going in. Okay. Love. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> oh, God. There's so much I'll start with the external random penis oh, I have to accidentally make sure to censor. What All right. Was the cause of death? What other clues can the... Collect There's his heart? On here. They wrote on his heart? Oh, right. It out. How'd they manage that? With the marker or anything? Uh -huh. Yeah, that cannot be easy trying to write anything on a heart of some kind. Post mortem. So they put him back in the lake after? This looks like text. Did they like dump water all around? A tattoo? Nightingale. That's weird. Boy, it was submerged. Do you think that they're trying to replicate the writing that Alan Wake does? And that's why he has like writing on his heart and stuff like that. Maybe. Hmm. Right, case board. Nope. Well, I have to go back to this one. Just real quick. Time to see what Nightingale's body can tell us. It's a fucked up looking body. That's for one. I mean, yeah, they cut a pretty deep hole in there, so. Yeah, that's hard. Yeah, I would not imagine it'd be that hard to cut into somebody's body part, but I actually don't know. So let me don't quote me on that. I don't know. <laughs> 
Yeah. <laughs> I'm unfamiliar with the ways to kill someone. I, I, I hope here. so. <laughs> <laughs> One can only hope. The most I ever did was maybe, like, um... Cause of death. Bloating of the joints is getting long term. There we go. Chest ripped off. There's something visibly inside. Cause of death. Chest wound is cause of death. I feel like we didn't need three pictures to figure out that this man died from the giant fucking gaping wound in his. <laughs> yeah. But you know what? Do you do due diligence. Cross every T, dot every I. That is on the body and the heart. How did killers have time? Doesn't make sense. What that would mean that... Dude, if they had time to write on the body, I don't know. It's like they left that there on purpose. Like, even then, it's like, even if they found someone else walking around, why wouldn't they go back? To them, right? What if they wanted... What if this guy already had this on him? And they were actually looking to get the heart. And this is not their writing. This was already on there. And they were trying to get yeah. the heart... But then the other dudes were there, so they weren't actually able to do anything. That's my current. Remember, you can add quick action map without entering the mine palace. Okay, let's go here. When do I want to look at the map real quick? Whoop. I guess not. Oh, okay, I can just go inside his. Yeah, just go in there. Yeah, just like pick that up. another manuscript it totally is just they shove that shit right in there it's the yeah. same type of page we found at cauldron lake nightingale hunted saga didn't see her the taken could not see into bright light light hurt them made them vulnerable nightingale had no heart but here he was killing whoa wait what Someone's created a fucked oh. up fantasy about We found these kinds of pages. I didn't think they were relevant to this case. I have them right here. Imagine if it would be crazy if it just gets like fucking like, blown up right there. Wait a minute. Oh. Wait. Oh. Holy shit, he got candle jacked. Oh my god. <laughs> oh! <gasps> no! Oh. They did call him a killer. They did. Oh shit. That's why I was like immediately like, oh. Oh no. I know how this goes. <laughs> you need to. gonna be coming this way back so you better pick up a gun the page said to get into the light try to stay in the light to avoid being detected by enemies yes you're always safe in the light that's what I also remember from Alan Wake okay safe havens will restore some of your health if you leave or attack from a safe haven while in combat it will become temporarily unavailable oh, I see you now or can I focus in on? You can't come here. You can't see me in the light. My gun's out in the hall. Gotta get it back. Okay, I'm gonna run. Is this the gun? Yeah, it looks like it. Perfect. Uh... All right, easy. Well, there you go. His body's gone. Did he teleport? He vanished.
Behind you. No, end of chapter. End of chapter. <laughs> okay, well. Hmm. Well, let me see if there's anything right here specific. Yeah. Other than this man's face. I think Just it's a man's face. The water. Hi. Oh god, there's gonna be a song that is likely gonna hit my channel. So I think this is a good time Yay. to say, hey everyone, thank you very much for joining us for 13 Nights of Halloween. Uh, glad there was some spooky stuff in the beginning, but it's definitely more... I didn't expect all the detective stuff at the beginning. Yeah, that's... Okay, that's really interesting. It looks yeah. pretty good, actually. Yes, I'm gonna be interested to continue onwards and probably check this out on my own time and tell you specifically if the, if the sheriff guy was behind it. Yeah, I'll let bad. you know. I'm calling it. I know it. I'll make sure to hit you up to say, like, if you were right or not when I figure it out. <laughs> You're completely wrong. <laughs> yeah, oh, for sure. I'll let you know. But thank you very much for for joining me for 13 Nights. Yeah, no problem, And providing man. time for it. If they want to, by the way, if you want to go check out uh, Minato yourself, you can go over to his channel. I should remember to link it unless I forget somehow. If I forget, anyway. it's because I'm, I'm bad at content creation. Hey, <laughs> but I know, should I remember. Do. Either way, it's fine. Just Minato's Flash on YouTube. But also, I have Twitter as well, I guess, you know? Yeah. But uh, that's where you can find me, mostly. Yep. And where he does Dragon Ball Z stuff, and along with some other stuff as well. Yeah. Uh, I see you talking to Zen a whole bunch about Honkai. That's what I yeah. remember. <laughs> that is true. We mm -hmm. do talk about Honkai Star Rail. Yep. So, we will see you guys. Well, I'll see you guys in the next video. And you'll also see him in the next video whenever that comes around. But... Won't be back with another. I'll be back with another. <laughs> you can tell I'm really bad at this. You can see. <laughs> I'll be back for more spooky times at the 13 Nights Halloween. Continue on. Say goodbye. Oh Is... yeah, sorry. My, my, bye. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I was reading the lyrics. It said, "Follow the deer to get to the owl." I'm you're like, so you're on. you're like wait a minute i need to see where this is going still <laughs> yeah <laughs> i think the song means something i, I it has probably. to all right stop recording now